and welcome to part 3 of the basic GIMP tutorial. Well, another approach is uh, not adding some space to the top and the bottom, but just make the image fit the window. And that means we will have to cut something off the sides. I can undo what I just did with the image. Uh, and I can do that by pressing Ctrl, Ctrl Z. Or I can open the Undo History dialog, which shows in the Layers, Channels, etc. dock. And by standard, the last one is selected. So if you go up, the history appears. And everything we have done with the image shows here. And what we want is to go back after ro the rotation, because we want to have the rotated image with the, with the aligned horizon. But before we crop the image, because we want to do a, a different crop. So we can click on remove all guides and then the image shows like it was in that state. And you can see again the leftovers are there. So these leftovers we want to get rid of them but we did that before. So we can go to crop image and select none to have the image back at the original size but after the horizon alignment. So we are more or less back where we started. And we'll go to image and then scale image and right now we do not want the width but the height to change. And we had a height of 1024. So when I click on width again then uh, with height um, changed then the width uh, will not be 1280 but 1384. That means the resulting image, when I click on scale, will have the height that's okay, but a width that's too big. So we will have to cut something off the edges. I'll just make the image a little bigger. And we can do that by going to image canvas size again like we did before. But now we don't want the height to change but the width. So we make the width 1280. And when we click somewhere else to activate it, you see what happens to the image. It wants to cut off something of the original image. When I press center, I see that the uh, to the, the right and the left part of the image it's not perfectly symmetrical. So I will just alter this image until I like it, what that will do. And I press on resize. So right now the image is resized. And like we've seen before, we have on the left and the right side we see that the image actually is larger than the pieces we cut, cut off. So the dotted line on the sides does not meet the image anymore. This means the layer is bigger now than the image because we cut off the sides. And of course we can fix that. We can make the layer as small as the image. And we can do that by go, going to image and then flatten image. And right now you see the borders meet the image again. So right now we're done. This image is 1280 by 1024. So that's perfect for our wallpaper. And right now we're going to save it. We're going to save this image as a uh, JPG. This is a, about the most common format uh, on the internet, on the web uh, around and uh, it works on uh, every computer. Click on file and then save as and then we could choose to um, choose the, the actual folder and I want to save it in my uh, C drive in my C drive and in the 
temporary directory but of course you, you can choose any location you want and then click save and we can choose the quality of the image and in this, in this case I'll just let it be at 100% and click save so right now the image is saved and the last step is that we make our desktop show this wallpaper now let me just close the GIMP right click on the desktop and press properties and then at wallpaper we go into browse and we're going to the C drive at the temp where I put my uh, image click on the image and press open and there it shows and I can click apply and that will apply to my desktop so right now I have this beautiful desktop filled with the image I just altered click OK and you're done well right now we're done with this uh, with this first time tutorial I hope you enjoyed it see you next time